Hey there everybody, thank you for joining me for another one man review. Today I have another book that I found at Second and Charles, The Amazon by Stephen T. Seagal and Tim Sale. It's a Dark Horse book that came out, I think it said in 2010, but it's a reprint of a book that these guys did with Comico back in 1988-1989. Um, I grabbed it because I love Tim Sale's art. And I wound up really enjoying it. And it was really cool to see what must be one of the first pieces that Tim Sale put out. I'm not sure. Not a big historian that way. But um, very early on in his career, I would imagine working at Comico, uh, a smaller company. Um, it's, it's really cool to see that. It's a really well-produced book. Nice glossy paper. I think it maybe could have been printed on matte. But Dark Horse is always going to go with the glossy paper. But it's nice paper really good colors it's obviously been recolored they show in the back um, some of the like the original covers which Tim Sale did in pastel even though he's colorblind and then they show some of the recoloring it looks like Dark Horse also re-released this as single issues because uh, throughout the book they have some of the colors for those single or covers for those single issue re-releases um, this case of recoloring, given what I see here, this looks like one of the ones where the recoloring is actually nicer, but you do lose some of the strangeness of the original coloring. But reading the book, not knowing the original colors, I thought it was done very well. Um, Tim Sale, as always, is great. Uh, he's just such a impeccable composer of a panel and of a page and an impeccable storyteller. Um, even though when I was a kid, I, w I didn't like his art. He's someone who I've come to really, really enjoy just because my tastes were too limited as a kid. There's what seemed like simplicity is um, really a trick. His stuff is very complex and, and rich and detailed. And that shows up throughout the book. I think the thing that really interested me most about the book was uh, Stephen T. Seagal's writing. It's a story about a journalist who goes to the Amazon, goes to one of these sites where they're taking down, you know, they cut, cutting down the Amazon, and one of the workers has disappeared, and he's going to write a story about why the worker disappeared. There's stories that there's a ghost uh, terrorizing the work site, and it becomes pretty obviously pretty quick. It's no real spoiler that the worker who's disappeared ha has become, you know, uh, kind of... I don't want to say an eco-terrorist, but he's joined a tribe in the Amazon and is helping them protect their land. Um, but what's really interesting in the way that the story is presented is the way that Stephen T. Seagal has the author writing twice. So it seems like a very 80s type of writing trope to me that a lot of the story happens in someone's journal uh, or in some other bit of text that's running against the grain or with the grain of the images but it's interesting to have two bits of text cutting against each other as well um, that seems kind of like an innovation on the the writing the stylistic trope so you'll get his journal entries which are like how he's responding in the moment and then that will be interspersed with like the article that he wrote when he came back home and he's not in the moment and he's like going back and revising it and sometimes his opinion maintains sometimes he like cleans it up or takes out some of the emotional context sometimes it's almost like he completely 180s on his opinion and i really like that and there's other moments too where like he's saying you know that he's being like a badass in the writing and in the picture he's obviously not that's a more standard trick um, but i really like this so this is a good example when he goes to see the work site the sight of the timber mining is utterly disgusting, like looking at a strip mine in the middle of the Rocky Mountains and knowing, and then you switch over to the article, and he just says, the tree stripping is a very efficient process. Then back to the journal, knowing that was there will never be there again. Back to the article, American dollars provide the equipment necessary to, to correct the mistakes of Mother Nature. And then over here, the journal, it's hard to imagine how much they're leveling until you see it firsthand. The article, seeing the process makes it very easy to believe that thousands of acres are leveled each day. Back to the journal, trees falling left and right, bulldozed, it's horrendous. 
Back to the article. The men who work here don't consider the damage, though. All they know is 8 to 10 hours of works equal a day's pay. Um, so I like that. I like that back and forth. It's a really interesting thing. The In terms of the, the again, Tim's sale, I think the jungle is really good for him. The way he's so good at spotting blacks and making a composition breathe, but also seem packed with detail. The jungle really lets him do that. Here you see the guy who's gone away and gone tribal. Um, some more really impressive Tim Sale art where he's got these beautiful compositions and they're packed full of detail, but I don't know, they, they, there's like a simplicity in the clutter still. I really admire that about his work. Um, just a simple line with spotting blacks. And then here's here's another interesting interesting piece of dialogue uh, in the writing where he's going back and forth with himself throughout time. Um, in the article, he's saying, "As we entered the village, I became acutely aware of just how different life is in the Amazon." In the journal, beautiful, absolutely. In the article, village life is astonishingly prehistoric, as if the Stone Age never quite ended here. Back to the journal. The culture is primitive, but extremely efficient. Tasks divided and done. Music is atonal, non-rhythmic. Interesting. The article. Some might see it and appeal to it. But as I considered life lived in the wild, I was very glad I would soon be returning to the outside world, to civilization. And then at the journal, what he's feeling in the moment. No electricity, no media, no job for Malcolm. Only what they needed, like the ideal civilization. We've lost all of this. Lost the trees, lost the mother of all forces. The spirit of the Amazon. Um, so th those are the moments I really like because it shows how someone's getting wrapped up in the emotion of the moment and then how they get back to society. And, you know, it's like the ease of society sucks them back in and they're like, well, that was crazy. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be out there living like a Stone Age primitive, having to hunt for food. Um, I think that's really, well, <laughs> our motto, it's really well observed. It's really well observed human behavior from Stephen T. Seagal. And then here he's talking about um, getting drugged. And, you know, the, the journal, or so, sorry, the uh, article runs along just fine. And in the journal, like, he's trying to write, but his writing totally falls apart. I think that's a fantastic bit of lettering. So, it's a, you know, it's a pretty straightforward story, but with this uh, formal trick in the writing. And I, I think that formal trick in the writing is where all of the humanity is revealed. The rest of the story is a pretty simple story about, you know, uh, strip mining the Amazon but there's, there is some complexity in it because of the back and forth in the journal and the article, like his own feelings about, how, you know, how bad that is or not. And, you know, our relationship to nature and all of that. So uh, really glad I found this book. I'd never heard of it. It's obviously been around for a long time, but I'm really glad it got reprinted. I'm glad I stumbled across it. Huge, huge fan of Tim Sale. And uh, I know I've read plenty of other stuff by Stephen T. Seagal, but... This really upped my impression of him as a writer. So hopefully you all can find yourself a copy of it. Thanks for following along. Take it away, Jack. You want to see all these books? Smash that subscribe button and the like button and the bell. And then you get them.